Uh, the King family were informed we're starting up here. Uh, Louie is here to help me. She loves the camera. Okay, with the basic worm form, we have the bottom bucket here. Uh, we have pre drill holes on the outside for air. And a spout. This is not. This is so we added on to drain the worm juice out of it. Uh, and then we have a tub where it goes in the bottom to keep the bottom of our actual beds of worm beds from clogging up the holes and everything. Uh, we got a set of four nesting ones, one for the bottom and then three worm beds. Uh, it's just a bunch of air holes built here and bigger holes here at the bottom for to let air in and also let the worms climb up and down. Um, the first layer here we put paper in so we can um, start establishing the bed. We have two others drilled the same way so that once this gets um, full to about here we start the next one and so on and so forth. So I'll sit right in there. What we have here is um, some peat and some shredded newspaper uh, just to start a bedding for the for the worms. That's uh, so what they buy. A lot of people advise doing the peat, peat and newspaper. So uh, we'll follow the advice of other people on YouTube. Just uh, spread it out, and you know we might need a little bit more. Okay. Yeah, we're gonna need a little bit more. So hold on just a second. Now grab another big handle. Just the uh, red wigglers. So there we go. <coughs> and that just covers the whole hole. Okay. Next thing is we have our kitchen scraps and newspapers and stuff. Um, they, they like to eat just about anything. Um, starting with some celery. And we got some watermelon. <laughs> Ryan's down here. So I'll put some in later. Yeah. Okay. Put them in the corner. Right here. Okay, I'm gonna put them in the corner. Okay. And now, uh, a little bit more. Put some more in there. You're dropping. <laughs> yeah, I'm dropping some. Okay. Just put it in. Now it's time to put in the worms. Wormers, yay! We just got. Little red worms. I call them red wigglers. So, let's say to put these in part of away from the food, so we're going to put one there. Oh, save all the worms. Uh, we got we got 100 worms. 100. Yeah, you know, put that one in. Put it right in here. Dump it over. Check it out. There you go, and I put that one in right next to it. Right there. And the last one. Here you go. Put it right in here. Turn this way. Oh, I did it. Okay. Now just to make sure you get all that stuff out, because that's a lot of that is actually worm casting, which is what we want for our gardens. This here will get the worm juice, which is also good for the gardens. Now we're raising worms in here to, as long as you keep feeding them, they'll multiply. And so you got them for gardening, for all that stuff. No, I'm not very active right now. Oh, wow, look at that. They got a whole bunch of them. Oh, buddy. Yeah, look at all of them. And now, the last step to do it is to put some... Actually, it's supposed to be wet in your favor, not dry. Nope. We'll figure this out. I'm going to dampen it. Uh, <laughs> just to keep it moist. And they like they like a wet environment, but not too wet. It's amazing how picky worms are. <laughs> but another reason we're growing them is because we're eventually hoping to get an aquaponics system going with um, bluegill or green sunfish. We're not, um, not sure yet. Um, but they both like worms, so that's another reason why we're going. Um, we'll put the rest of the scraps in later, but instead of start like this to make sure they acclimate, so they can go to the two sides, and this just put that in there, and then 
lid on just, just has a bunch of holes in it for letting air in. And now we'll come back and check on it in a little bit to see if the worms start moving. Once they start moving and getting into the corners, so we know they've accepted it and we can throw in the rest of the stuff. Um, we got some more watermelon rinds, some other scraps, um, they even said some eggshells, um, coffee, and they said they love cardboard. So, but they need the cover needs to be wet. So that's why I throw it all in. We'll hopefully beat them again in a little bit. And if this is a complete failure, we'll tell you all that if it works. I mean, this is what other people have done. We slightly modified it slightly, added some more holes. Like I said, add the spigot because you know, we want to get that warm juice. It's great for the garden. You know, it comes out so strong you got to dilute it. Like I said, one to twenty. Um, Oh, that's it. Catch up with you.